Did the sales do the city mayor? Oh, <laughs> the bishop, of course, you know. Charles Benjamin. This is um, a wonderful place. Uh, it was um, hugely important to me as a boy. I saw birds for the first time. Uh, here I saw rocks uh, and it made me think about rocks and what rocks were and how, how the land was formed. Of course it's a place where you fill your lungs with, and run up and down hills and so on, but it's also profoundly important in giving you visions of, of reality. Back in the 30s it was, a, it was a, a gem of a place and you might think that the way the population has grown since the 1930s that places like this would be swamped and, and disappear. And miraculously it hasn't because people of Leicester and Surround care for this place. And it's, it's marvellous that the uh, Rotary should have decided to make this great project so that people can understand what this place is and what it represents and how it came to be the way it is. <laughs> We're delighted to have him here. Obviously he is a Leicester person and he has always been a great lover of Bradgate Park. And uh, when we asked him if he would write the foreword in our brochure, he, he kindly agreed. And when we agreed the launch and, and told him about it, um, even more delighted to know that he wanted to come along and uh, be at our launch today. You go to Australia, and they talk about Charnia. And I said, do you know why they, do you know why that's called Charnia? I said, no. <laughs> <laughs> Charnwood Forest, my dear chap. We're looking to uh, extend and refurbish our visitor centre, which has been in place since the early 90s. So it's, it's looking a bit tired, and the Rotary Club of Leicester were kind enough to adopt us as their centenary project. We've been involved with Leicester Rotary Club really since the 1930s. It was the Leicester Rotary Club that uh, bought Swidland Wood and gave it to the Bradgate Park Trust in 1931. So it's, it's great to be able to continue that relationship. That's, um, too simple. To, really, uh, to really enjoy this fully, you've got to understand it. Um, and um, this, this new visitor centres will enable visitors to do just that.